Okay, well, welcome to Inquire. Uh, the purpose of this um, short movie is to give you an overview of the program which we use uh, to uh, monitor and track um, student learning as well as student achievement <coughs> and to gather um, evidence around learning as well. Uh, we use a FileMaker Pro database but um, we allow access to it from home via um, a web server um, which comes up uh, through your web browser and enables all students to have um, a login and password. So when you come up uh, you get this screen when it first starts and what basically is two parts to setting it up. One is getting all your kids in there and you can do that through an Excel database and the second part really is to um, enable staff to set up courses and the um, creation of a course is quite easy. Uh, just select a course and say new course. If we just take a look at uh, current course that's in here, uh, the course layout has a um, number of uh, elements to it, uh, subject IDs and, and the subject name as well as the title for the course um, and the learning advisor, or in our case the teacher who is taking it. Um, when it occurs, we have eight uh, terms or eight half term blocks. So 3.2 is the second half of term three. Uh, any stream, if it's necessary to have a stream um, letter for it and the year. Now, once that's done, uh, those things are sort of the elements, I guess, that um, control the background of the program and they generate a specific code. Once that's done, it can't really be changed. So you need to know what you're um, which ones you want to use. Most of these are just populated from a Ministry of Education list of possible courses. Down below is the ability for us to um, write uh, course descriptors, um, set up the learning outcomes and also the achievement objectives um, which are applicable to this from the national document. We also have uh, key competencies as an important part of um, our new curriculum so there's also a tab for doing those and then uh, location for any web resources that might be used. So all of our teachers write uh, course descriptions and they also um, are meant to write a list of learning outcomes and then indicate any uh, um, achievement objectives from the national curriculum uh, and these are done automatically. Once that's done, um, all the courses are set up for a year or we do it at the beginning of the year but you could do it every term. Um, that'll generate a list of courses so if I click on 3.2 that'll show me all the courses which were on offer for 3.2 and you can see these numbers down here that indicates the number of students who were enrolled um, in that course. Now we also have uh, assessment parts uh, to the New Zealand um, New Zealand classes like a national assessment and some of those take place externally and some of them take place internally. Uh, you can usually see if there is uh, any um, national assessment by clicking on the NCA tab and these are generated automatically as well um, by teachers. Now through these um, tabs you get a class list tab which shows you uh, all the kids who are booked in for this course but while you can enrol them through um, this method so I could enrol them from a list of possible uh, kids here that's not the beauty of this program it's, uh, the, we use this so that kids and um, their home based learning advisors can enrol uh, the kids sort of at a small meeting or a short meeting um, each five week block um, rather than having to sort of have a couple of timetablers or um, sort of like management type people or admin people um, enrol all the school all at once. Uh, we ask our staff to carry out evaluations at the end of each block and that's where that takes place. There's a space for putting any class based evidence which will turn up in uh, the goal portal of the student. Um, NCA we've already looked at. The schedule is for our time timetable to um, set uh, when the uh, when the class will take place. This can be modified for anybody who wants to pick the program up. We can change all these 
buttons. These are just automatic buttons to allow our timetable just to sort of simply click the blue block and that'll um, run through and put the, the class into all the scheduled timetable uh, blocks for the, for the blue block in our timetable. Likewise for the orange, yellow, green and so on. Now that can all be changed um, depending on your needs. Um, the scheme of learning um, takes a lot of the data from the course details and just produces a scheme and um, you can print that scheme page off and that just allows us as management team to have a look at what people are doing and put together whole schemes of learning um, also for the purposes of the Ministry of Education or our Education Review Office should they come through. And finally, uh, the second part of the evaluation um, is to do a breakdown of student needs at the end of each um, course. So that's really the course uh, layout section, um, and that just uh, that is really um, just for setting up so that you've actually got some something to um, set against kids. So we'll close this and go back to our student layout. So here's my class here. We just take uh, Henry Porteous, boy in year 12, which is your year 11 in Australia. Um, we uh, This layout will show um, goals from uh, a specific year and also a specific term. So here's our breakdown of, of terms. And so if I went back to term 3.2, uh, sorry, 3.1, see he's got um, uh, some classes that he did. So here, where they've got a code and then they've got black writing, these are goals which we've entered into his class, which are based on a course. So you saw the courses before. So those courses there um, were generated um, from uh, all the courses that students, uh, uh, learning advisors or teachers had set up. So here you can see I've got a whole list of all the courses on offer in 3.1. and um, he was selected to do one outdoor. Now that means that he now has a goal of one outdoor. He doesn't just have the course set against his name, he actually has now been enrolled in a goal um, as one outdoor. And with some students you can see, they'll, um, it's not a very good one to look at, but uh, that's his whole, his whole, whole uh, education time's worth of goals that he's done. Whether they be courses or like this in the blue, um, learner directed goals or individual inquiry goals. So if I just take a look at a course goal, once it's listed against Henry's name, if I click on it, it comes up as his goal uh, with all the details of it. So in this case, um, the name of the goal, uh, the code of the goal, um, the course details, any attendance around that goal. Henry doesn't actually exist, folks, just a student I use for privacy purposes for demonstrating it. But um, any attendance uh, that he'd had would come up here. Uh, any NCA standards on offer through our national curriculum. You see here there's missing achievement objectives and key competencies as well as learning outcomes. So that's where um, uh, a learning advisor hasn't set their course up probably, properly for whatever reason. Um, this teacher was new this year. Um, but certainly the descriptor for that is there. You can see that he mentions uh, unit standard 431, which is also on offer down here. Um, we'll just see if we can find a slightly a better populated one. Here's one where the um, learning outcomes are actually in it. And another one here with uh, learning outcomes. No, so most of the uh, teachers here haven't managed to uh, log in achievement objectives. Um, the other tabs along here are quite important um, for different reasons. Um, if we just go up to level three mathematics, um, whoops, level three calculus. So here, if we have a look, if any NCA TAM um, achievements were enrolled against Henry's name, they would appear on this one. The space for working out an action plan, um, if that was appropriate for a class you were running or now a learner directed.